Hello everybody, in this video we'll take a look at how to use Zoom on a Chromebook. So first off we need to schedule our meeting in Zoom or we can just uh, join a meeting right away. Um, so if we need to uh, schedule a meeting we'll come up into our Zoom dashboard here and come up to schedule a meeting. Then we'll fill out all of our details um, and the most important thing is if we scroll all the way down here under meeting options we have record the meeting automatically now when you click on that you'll have these other two buttons that pop up here one says on the local computer and one on in the cloud now this this is a little bit misleading because if you are on a chromebook the only choice you'll actually have is saving it to zoom's cloud storage okay if you're on a pc or a mac you can save it locally to your hard drive or your desktop but if you are on a chromebook you can only save the recording to zoom's cloud okay um, if you need to just join a meeting right away you can just go up, come up to the top right corner and hover over host a meeting and you can pick whichever one whichever option you like there okay but if you are hosting a meeting in zoom on a chromebook it's going to be best if you download the zoom chrome app okay um, you can find it here in the chrome web store just go to the chrome web store which is chrome.google.com slash web store and then search for zoom under the apps section. This is the page that you'll download it from. Okay, so when you are ready, you can go ahead and launch a meeting. I'll just launch a meeting with my, with nothing on here. I'll just have it, uh, the video off just for the purposes of showing you guys here. All right, so now here is the live meeting. Um, and if you are familiar with Zoom meetings, uh, everything else works pretty much the same. Um, and you'll notice at the very bottom of the screen here, we have the record button. All right, if I give a click on top of the record button, it just starts recording, okay? There's no choice, again, whether it's going to be saved locally onto the computer's hard drive um, or into your cloud storage, all right? Since I'm on a Chromebook, the only choice is cloud storage, all right? So then just like any normal Zoom meeting, I can start doing whatever I need. I can share my screen, I can, uh, you know, I have people join in and have my conference, whatever I need to do. All right. At the end of the meeting, when I'm done, I can choose end meeting way here down here in the bottom right corner and just say end meeting. That'll finish out the meeting and stop the recording. If you want to stop the recording but stay in the session, you can just click on the stop button down here at the bottom or, or the pause. Either one will work. For our purposes, I'll go ahead and just end the meeting. All right, and I can close out of this window. Notice the Zoom uh, app here is a separate window. So this is not going to be in the in uh, like another tab in your Chrome browser. Instead, it's going to be kind of its own window. Okay, so I'll close out of that, and I'm going to go back to my Zoom dashboard. Uh, as you can see, I have a bookmark set up for it, so I recommend doing that. So it's nice and easy to get back to your Zoom dashboard. And if I want to go and find that recording now, I come over here to the left hand side and choose recordings. And now I'll see all my previous recordings. At the top, I see my cloud recordings uh, or my local recordings. Again, since I'm on a Chromebook, I can't see any of my local, local recordings because it only supports Windows and Mac computers. Okay, so if you're on a Chromebook, the only choice you have is cloud recording. Now, in the free version of Zoom, you only get a half a gigabyte of cloud storage space, so you're probably going to want to back up your recorded videos somewhere else just in case. Plus, if you want to share them like in Google Classroom, it might be easier to save them to your Google Drive. So let me show you how to do that. So here's this meeting I just did. I'm going to come over here to the More menu at the end, and I'll click on Download. Then down here in the bottom right corner, I'll click on Show in Folder. And here's this meeting I just did. And what I can do is I can just drag this right over here on top of my Google Drive icon. If you have another folder set up already in your Google Drive, you can drop it into that folder from here. Okay. Now, since we're on a Chromebook, all this stuff is synced up with my same exact Google, Google account. So now in our regular Google Drive here, we're just in the browser like normal, we'll go and find this video that we uploaded. 
okay? A, a good way to do it is if you sort by last modified, it'll show up first. So here is this video that I just made. It may take a little bit for it to process. Um, so here, here it is. This is the one I just made a little bit ago. Once you, if you give it about, yeah, usually about five or 10 minutes, it'll show up here and you'll be able to play it, okay? If you want to go and post this video into Google Classroom, or if you want to rename this video, we can come up to the top right of, uh, of our page here and we can go to rename. And maybe I'll just call this one demo video and click on okay. All right. If I want to take this video and post it in Google Classroom for my students to see, all I have to do is go into Google, Google Classroom just like normal. I'll go into one of my classrooms, go into the classwork tab, go into create, and then maybe material. You can do whichever type of type of uh, assignment or activity you want here. I'll just do a material. I'll call this one demo video. Then I'll go to the create, uh, I'm sorry, to the add button, the add button, and then choose on, uh, choose Google Drive. And here's my demo video right here under recent. If it's something that you've made a little bit ago, is maybe it, will, it won't show up under recent, you can go under your My Drive and search your whole Google Drive from here as well. But since my, I know where mine is right here under recent, I'll just choose it right from there. And just like that, we have that video posted. Hope this was helpful for you guys. I'll see you in the next video.